What I tell men who are interested in masonry is that it's a group of guys that get together and help each other out. We support each other when times are tough. We pat each other on the back. Um, we're there for each other all the time. And if you don't have that support group behind you, you do now. Uh, in 1997, I had an opportunity to join a company. And the president of that company was a mason. And looking back at him and seeing his integrity, seeing how he dealt with people, I wanted to be part of that. It's a fraternal organization that gives men the skills and the tools to be better men, to be better citizens, to be better members of their community, to be better husbands and fathers. We don't care the color of skin, the racial, ethnic, ethnicity. We don't care. Uh, we're indifferent to that because that isn't what makes the person. What makes the person is what that person has inside. Well, because of my tattoos, I'm judged on my exterior on an everyday basis. When I, when I came into masonry, they judged me on my interior qualities instead of my exterior. When we bring you into masonry, we make you a brother amongst the other brothers in that lodge. So in every sense of the word, you become a part of that Masonic fabric inside of that community. I've been a Mason for 35 years, and I'm very proud that my son is a Mason also. The best day of my life was the day that they became Masons. I have five kids, and Masonry has helped me become a better father by showing me what relationships are all about. Masonry for me has allowed me to develop a relationship with my dad that I never thought I would have ever had. As a Mason, honor means doing the right thing even if nobody is watching. The biggest thing that Masonry has taught me is that we don't grow by giving to ourselves. We grow by uh, giving to other people, by being of service to them and, and making our communities a better place and by helping each other. And that's what Masonry really is. That's what it tries to teach, is that, uh, that in me helping you grow and become a better person, that's how I'll grow and become a better person as well. I became a Mason in 1958, and I'm just as proud today to still be a Mason. I had a conversation with a, another Mason, and he said something that meant a lot to me that made me want to become a Mason. He said, it's the best thing that I'd ever do for myself, and he was right. I'm a Mason. I'm a Mason. I'm a Mason. I'm a Mason. I'm a Mason.